So until now, we had added some uh, API tests for our requests. And I think you must have already noticed, right? So there are some tests which are common across all the API requests. Now, if you ask me, what are these common tests, right? So for example, the test which check your status of your API request, right? So the simple test like uh, checking the status code is 200, uh, status code name has string OK, response time is less than certain number, like content type is present, header. So all these tests could be common across most of the tests, right? Most of the API requests. So every request will have a status code, or mostly 200, but some status may be different. Then um, status could string could be also same. Response time could be common across all the requests, right? So can you notice now that we need to add this test again and again in every request? Now, if this is fine, if you have just three to four requests or five to ten requests, right? You can add this test again and again. But what if you have um, some fifty to hundred uh, API requests? Would you add all the same five tests repeatedly for every API request? No, right? So it's better to have an option where you can reuse this test for every API request. So that can be done with the help of collection, right? So let's see uh, the same thing in action right now. So I think we had added some test for uh, get specific repository and get all repositories. Now let's go ahead and, but we did not add any test for post and delete requests, right? But let's go ahead and add some tests here, right? So let's add a status test here. Uh, but this is a post request. So I'm going to show you a new snippet here, right? Which you can use for post request. So this is the snippet status code successful post request. Now what's different here from the other status code request is uh, it accepts or it tries to find whether the status code is either 201 or 202, right? Now, because the status code of a post request is mostly 201, right? So we can still use the previous one. We can change the status code uh, as 201, or we can use this one where you can give an option of, it could be any of these values, right? So what we can do here is, okay, uh, so let's use this and Let's create a repository now to test this out. Okay, so test is passing. Now, um, what else? So code name, again, this is, a, this is a different code name, right? So this is the code name for post request. It's not the same for get request. So get request have a, has a different code name string, right? So what else? So I think uh, remaining all will remain same, right? So we have some response time. We can increase that for every request. Same for delete uh, repository, right? So we need some tests here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to check here status code is uh, so what's the status code here, right? So let's check 204, okay? So I'm going to make this 204. And then I'm also going to add a um, string here, status code string, right? Just to check uh, whether it's working or not. No created no content sorry right this probably failed this time because uh, we already have deleted that repository right 
so we need to again create it and delete it but um, so now I think we have uh, got test for almost all the requests right now as I was saying uh, we don't want to repeat the common tests across all the requests right so what are the repeatable tests these are the repeatable tests right status code uh, status code name is string response time content type now there are some exceptions obviously for post request uh, status code and string will be different similarly for delete request it will be different right for delete request there will be no um, content type header right so there are some exceptions but we should be able to handle them now how you can reuse your tests across all the requests right so you can do that by adding them to the collection right so github is our collection you can go and edit this collection and you can go to the test section now here we can take all our common tests right so all these tests and we can add to our collection right so what what it will do it will now um, let us use this test across all the requests right so you can run this test for all the requests inside a collection you don't need to have this test separately within your api request obviously for the um, exceptions you can have those tests on on your separately on your api request but the common test you could keep in your collection right so this will or, uh, help you organize and also reduce your efforts in writing tests for all your api request right now how do you handle uh, the exceptions right so i don't want to run this test for every api request right uh, it it needs to be based on some condition so how i'm going to do that so there is um object called pm.info which contains all the information related to your request right like you can have the request id or request name rest so i want to use the request name here okay so here i'm going to tell that if the request name is equal to create repository okay um, or so here i'm going to tell pm dot info dot again request name equals equals delete repository right so these are the two exceptions which i have in my request so there is a if condition and then there will be an else condition right so if the requests are create and delete right i want to i want to run only specific tests here right uh, like what like i can have this one inside this right so this is a common test which can work for every request so this we can do let's make it thousand thousand milliseconds so that we don't have any failures across our requests and then in else so if it's not equal to uh, these two requests then i would like to have all my other requests inside this right so what will happen now except these two requests which is a post and a delete request it will run all the tests for all your api request for all your other api requests right so all these three tests will run by default whenever you run your um, test from a collection right so go ahead and update it right now we have some um, tests in the collection itself right so this is how helpful um, your collection could be so when you arrange your or group your api request into a collection there are lots of advantages right as you can see 
So this is all about how you can reuse your tests um, inside a collection for your different API request without repeating those tests for every every API request, right? In the next section, I'm going to show you how you can run your tests from a collection, right? So we'll be using something called Collection Runner, which is provided by Postman to run uh, your collections or your all your requests within a collection at a time, right? With the help of Collection Runner. So join me in the next video and we'll continue uh, learning about Postman.